Dolby Atmos Flex Connect. Um, you may be familiar with Dolby Atmos, that's the immersive sound format that Dolby has been uh, introducing to the market first in the cinemas and then uh, on uh, TV shows and live sports and music very recently um, to create a more natural experience for consumers when they listen to sound. Uh, we basically add height, we also add surrounds in a way that um, it becomes very natural when we listen to them. Um, there are different ways to experience Dolby Atmos. The best way has always been with a home theater. Um, in speaker configurations like 9.1.6, if you want to record that. More common formats are 5.1.2, uh, or sound bars that actually combine um, combined with the televisions that deliver an Atmos experience. All those products deliver a great Atmos experience, but they also have limitations in terms of what consumers um, can choose from. Um, and one of the main factors that consumers always are concerned about is how does a specific device besides my TV fit into my living room. So one of the things that we solve with the Dolby Atmos Flex Connect solution is that we give consumers the possibility to place one or two or three or four wireless speakers in the living room in combination with the television set. And that placement is completely independent of the acoustic design. They can basically choose where they want to place it, and usually that's probably where the tower is. Um, so what I will demonstrate to you is two things. Uh, one, it's very easy to set up. We assume that the TV and the wireless speakers have been just installed, and we have here, just for demonstration purposes, but in reality it will be the same. We have just one button to press, which I just did. And now the system sets itself. So we send a signal to the speakers on the TV. So the speaker on this side and the speaker on that side. And it tells us there's one in the rear, there's one over there. Um, and the TV speakers are not uh, shown here, but uh, we know that they are included. The signal... Can I ask you to do it one more time when you move the speaker forward? I will do that in a second. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the sound also tells us actually the size of the room and how it's reflective. Because we have the microphone here that when the speaker plays the specific sound that we are providing to it, the microphone captures it, is therefore capable of saying the sound that I sent there took so many milliseconds to get back to the um, microphone and therefore I know exactly uh, what the reflection of the of the room is. Now back to this gentleman's request, I'm going to move the speaker over here um, because you never keep your living room in the same state. Um, now, we assume that this is a major redesign of your living room. When you have someone cleaning your living room and they move the speakers for a few centimeters, it doesn't make any difference for us. Uh, but now, because I have moved it considerably, I need to go back and I recalibrate it and we have the same sound again. in terms of where I can place it, these I can, these, how I can install it are the two criteria that are important, but obviously the most important criteria is you want to make sure that it sounds great. So um, let me demonstrate we'll the go with the forest, please. We have no time, we're short in time. So Sorry, you I'm talking too long. Yeah, yeah, go so for the forest. Go. Yes, yes. Thank you. Here you go.
one critical listener here. Do <laughs> okay, you have time for a question? Yes, uh, 